Hey guys, so today I'm gonna do a little redesign exercise and we're gonna look at the macOS Big Sur dock. I'm not really a fan of the new changes, so let's see what we can do to make it a little bit better. And obviously it's completely subjective, so you might not like the changes that I make, but I'm gonna make them anyway because I feel that they're gonna be for the better. And I'm gonna be using Sketch this time, so you can use whatever you like, you can use Figma, you can use XD, you can even use MS Paint. Ready? Let's go! So I'm gonna start zoomed in to the left side of the dock and I'm gonna create some red squares to see the alignment of everything. And obviously a little bit of that alignment problem here that you can see is due to the bitmaps being silly bitmaps and not really anti-aliasing the right way. So I don't really think that Apple made this mistake over here. I think that this is just due to resizing of the image. Okay, so let's start by creating a rectangle, a slightly transparent rectangle for the height of our dock. We can modify the width later, so let's just do the height first. Now that transparency is gonna allow us to see the border radius of the actual real dock, so we can adjust our border radius here. And I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so I can modify the border radius even further. Okay, and that seems to be the right shape, roughly. And our dock is gonna be a lot smaller than this, but I'm gonna make it the same size for now because I need to see how the background blends with it like all the way across. Okay, now let's move it up, change the background color to black and let's play around with the opacity so it's gonna be looking pretty similar to the real dock below. The real dock also has a very subtle white border, so I'm gonna change the border to white, make it an inside border and decrease the opacity to fit. Okay, I got my initial values, but they're not quite right yet, so I'm zooming in and then modifying them a little bit to match even more. Okay, for now let's also add a, like a very default shadow to it and a background blur. So you just go to blur and select background blur. Okay, so let's test it. I'm gonna move it down on top of our real dock and see how the background blur performs. And what do you know? They lied to us. The background blur doesn't work. You just modify it and like pretty much nothing happens here. So what is wrong? Well, for the background blur to work, you need to have a higher opacity of the actual shape and then you can play with the opacity of the fill on your own. So now that we have the blur, let's move it up and then tweak it a little bit more. So the border opacity goes up and the fill opacity goes down until it kind of looks like the one below. And obviously to make our final presentation look a little bit better, I put a completely different background to test it against, so let's turn to that now. Yeah, looks pretty good, right? And remember, testing against a different background, a better looking one, is not cheating. It's just making it better, and nobody will know. Okay, time to hide the dog background and create our icon shapes. And I don't really like the fact that the icons are not vertically centered on the dog. And I understand that it needs to have the indicator space, but we're gonna make a different version of it. So I'm gonna center them, and looking at it now you see that the border radius of the icon versus the border radius of the dock don't really match that well. And you can test it by roughly measuring the diagonal space versus the left and the bottom space. So one way to solve this is actually to decrease the border radius of the icon to match. But I don't think that's the best idea, because the icon shapes are already established, so when I'll be pasting the real icons, they're gonna look pretty weird with a different shape and a different border radius. So let's bring that back and instead modify the corner radius of the actual dock background. And see, now it looks just a lot better. Okay, now I'm adding a pretty default shadow to the icon and decreasing the opacity of the shadow. And now let's create the indicator. And for the first option here, it's gonna be just a horizontal line that's under the icon that kind of starts where the icon starts to bend its edges. Okay, so let's duplicate our icon shape so we'll have a couple more icons in the dock. And please make sure that the distance between the icons is the same as the distance from the edges of the dock. Okay, and now for the fun part. Let's bring back a completely skeuomorphic divider element. So I'm gonna make a line here and I'm gonna change it to white. Then duplicate the line, move it just one point to the right and change it to black. And then by decreasing the opacity of the group, you'll have this weird indented kind of skeuomorphic divider line. Just pretty cool. Okay, gonna put it in the center here and we're done with this part. All right, so our brand new dock is gonna have four icons and the recycle bin, which is a cornerstone of any successful dock. 
Okay, I found some pretty nice recycle bin icon on Google Images. I'm pasting it in here and here is a trick. You can create a couple of ovals and then merge them into a shape that will allow you to actually mask it out so you won't have to cut it out from the background. So it's basically just two ovals and a trapezoid connected and then used as a mask under the image. And by doing it this way, you can also expand the mask in the layer list and simply edit it. So you can change how the image is cut out at any point. And yeah, we have our bin. So let's adjust the size and position and we should be pretty much done here. So the next step is just pasting in some icons that you're using and masking them out with the icon shape. So I'm not gonna show it because it's pretty easy. So yeah, this is my dream dock of all the three apps that I'm actually using all the time. And if you don't really like the large indicators, we can try with something more subtle here. And there we have it, a macOS Big Sur dock, but slightly modified because I think that the indicators are actually looking a little bit better this way. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. And obviously if you have your own versions of the dock with your own icons from your favorite apps, you can always share them at our community Slack. So have a great day, cheers!